Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James, and today we're going to be going over all the guns, melee weapons, and projectiles in GTA 5. Now with that being said, GTA 5 drops in just a few days, so if you're excited, please make sure to leave a like, and if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some awesome GTA 5 content, and let's get straight into the video. Now more images were recently leaked from the Brady Games Guide for GTA 5, and today I have a bunch of information on all the weapons that's going to be in this game, and trust me, there are a lot of them. Starting off with the melee weapons, we have the knife, just a simple combat knife, Carbon, steel, 7 inch, black knife, also have a hammer, it could be good to hit nails into wood, and you can use it to hit people of course, a crowbar to pry apart things, and of course, you know, to fight with. We also have the nightstick, which is kind of like the police baton, the baseball bat, simple baseball bat, and of course, the golf club, which can be found at the Los Santos Golf Club. Now for the pistols, the first one's pretty simple, just a standard pistol, not too expensive. You can get attachments for it, the extended clip, default clip, flashlight, suppressor, black tint, Army Tint and LSPD or Los Santos Police Department Tint so you can get different things. You can get a metallic blue, get different tints for the guns. Doesn't do too much damage, but like I said, it's just a standard pistol. We also have the Combat Pistol. It's compact, lightweight, semi-automatic, and you can get all the same attachments. Suppressor, Black Tint, Army Tint, LSP Tint, and uh, nothing too nothing too fancy on that one either. Now, the AP Pistol is has high penetration. It's a fully automatic pistol and holds 18 rounds in the magazine and can be be extended up to 36 rounds which is pretty cool and you like I said get all the upgrades on that too and of course the ever so classic stun gun you can stun people with a stun gun in this game and the army tent and LSP tent the attachments on that one are free the black tent is equipped by default and you can fire like a projectile at people which temporarily stuns them now after stunning them it takes approximately four seconds for the gun to recharge between stuns but once again you can use another round after that and keep stunning people which can be pretty fun to mess around with pedestrians with now the RPG is pretty much just a classic standard RPG, you can buy rockets, two rounds of rockets cost $100, you can get a grip on there to improve stability, and of course the three tents, Black Army and LSPD, just a simple RPG, but you can also get a minigun, kind of like a death machine in Black Ops, I hate to compare that to Call of Duty, but uh, you can get a minigun, it's a handheld minigun, comes with 100 rounds in a magazine, and while you can't only get the three tents for this gun, this gun is ridiculous, it's six barrel mini machine gun, and uh, has a gating style rotating barrels, and a very high rate of fire from 2,000 to 6,000 rounds per minute. Now for projectiles, we do have the simple grenade, just a standard grenade, pull the pin and throw it at people. We also have the sticky bomb, which is kind of like a plastic explosive, like a C4 kind of thing. You can throw the sticky bomb or plant it somewhere. Also the jerry can, which is just essentially a can of gas, leaves a trail of gasoline that can be ignited by shooting the trail with any firearm, or you can use a Molotov, which brings us to our next thing, the Molotov. The Molotov is nothing special, it's just a rag stuck in a bottle full of gasoline, and we also have tear gas. Now for SMGs, we have the micro submachine gun, pretty much like an Uzi, classic Uzi, you can get suppressor, scope, flashlight, extended clip, all these cool attachments on there, shoots about 700, 900 RPM, it's just a standard SMG. We also have the SMG, which looks kind of like an MP5, it's lightweight, it's pretty accurate, Accurate with the sight and has a 30 round magazine you can buy extended clip with it and a uh, bunch of cool attachments for that too you also have the machine gun just a general purpose machine gun nothing too offensive very effective against large groups of people you can buy a scope on it and extend a clip for a hundred rounds but it does get pretty expensive getting all that stuff on there and you can also get the combat machine which is pretty lightweight compact machine gun and has excellent maneuverability with a high rate of fire and a devastating effect but you know it does have a pretty big magazine too and last but not least we have assault rifles and sniper rifles just a standard assault rifle a pretty large capacity and a long distance accuracy looks like a simple like an AK-47 or something nothing too too fancy that's just a regular assault rifle we also have the carbon rifle looks more like an m4 or something it has a high capacity magazine and can be relied on to make the hit at a long range very good accuracy and of course the advanced rifle it's pretty lightweight and compact out of all the assault rifles it's the best with compromising accuracy and it's rate of fire so it does have a slower rate of fire a little bit less damage and less accuracy but it is very lightweight and easy to move around with now we have two sniper rifles a standard sniper rifle bolt action with a scope great at a long range it looks like a l96 or something like that or the l18a we also have the heavy sniper which is the bear 50 cal it features six armor piercing rounds per magazine very heavy damage with a good range and also comes with a laser scope as a standard sight now there is no suppressor option for this sniper rifle since it's so heavy duty and there it is all the weapons for gta 5 we've got to take a look at them right now all the guides and uh, with that being said if you enjoyed this video and are excited for gta 5 please make sure to leave a like and if you're new around here please make sure to subscribe i'm on the road to 50,000 subscribers that's all about it and have a great day erectile dysfunction is bad but leaving a like on the video isn't whether you're hard or soft. Make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.